Hi, uh, this is Raymond from Tesla Offer. Today we are going to teach you how to do a V2 upgrade. Um, uh, for most of you, uh, you only need this kit. Uh, but for some of you that have our older version of Full Sensor, you might need to replace the big control unit too. But uh, today we will go you uh, go through the basic upgrade kit. Um, so this is it. We need to have three tools. Uh, some prior uh, wire cutter and a screwdriver uh, and some electrical tape and let's get started so the first thing uh, is to remove this uh, piece so just hold it And then disconnect this. So push it in and pull it out. Yes. Here is some precaution that I want you to know. This uh, uh, was installed incorrectly before. It still works, but it just does not right. So when you do the upgrade kit, please make sure the yellow wire and the black wire uh, here is swapped so so uh, let me take a video later to show you uh, the reason why it's wrong because some some user when they do the install they try to match a black wire with this one the yellow wire with this one but it's not correct uh, because this color sequence uh, doesn't matter uh, when we did the video before uh, we show you that uh, the place where the black wire connected here should be a yellow wire and this one should be the black wire so the two wire got swapped so uh so when you do the upgrade kit uh be caution because if you do this in the opposite direction it will fry our new free to hardware so so here you see i already fixed the problem so now the wire to the button uh to the existing the existing wire to the button the sequence is right so as i said before with the yellow covers facing up uh from the right to the left it should be yellow red and black so make sure they got it right yes and then after that uh you know this is the wire that we connect to the existing wire that connected to the button so now we do this connection instead so after i connect it something you need to double check before plugging in the power is to check you see now the black match with the black the red match with the red and then the yellow match with the right white then it's correct you need to make sure this is correct or it will fry the little unit when you plug it in if this is wrong so this is the precaution that you really need to uh, notice before uh, to take care before you do the upgrade and then remove all this thing um, for this one uh, uh, previously connect to the button uh, but now we will use this wire and connect this here and this little thing we connect to the little thing here so let's put it here first. Oops. Remember to cut the power first because it's not compatible. Here is our control unit here. We put it here, but sometimes we put it here. But here we disconnect the power first. Okay. Good. So now I connect it. And we replace this set of wire with this one. Yeah. Um, we connect this to here. So they are all color coded, so it's easy to understand. And let's remove this thing. So this is the wire from Tesla itself. So with our new wire, connect it. 
just like before. So on this end, connect back to here. And this is the old wire that we don't use anymore. If you have the foot sensor, you can connect into this purple wire here. So tap the old green wire to the uh, tap uh, from the old purple wire to the new purple wire so that's basically it so this one here and then the old one this is from the factory you can plug it and here it is so that's basically it yes so now this is the old wire let's try to remove it from here and so actually you can cut it, uh, it's useless now, and you can throw that away. Yeah, so this full portion is useless now, so you can just tie this to somewhere and then forget about it. And now this is the upper portion, and this one you just put some double-sided tape and tape it over here like this yeah that's how i do it yeah but let me put it here first and then we'll do the and this one this one from the new wire plug into your trunk button now yeah so the old trunk button plugs into here and the new one plugs into the button oh, let me cut it now so remember to uh, disconnect the power first before you do the cutting because otherwise you might short the short some circuit um, but let me just connect the, all the things here first. So in here, try to disconnect this also. And from here, we have a new black connector that connects to here. But this free wire, you need to do some uh, wire splicing. Um, so let's try to find out this big chunk of cable. Pull it out first. Yeah, let me try to do it. Sometimes it's easier if you remove this piece, but it's optional. assess this area okay so this portion of the wire uh, I removed the buster too uh, this portion of the wire you can also cut it but uh, you see there are two portions that are going out uh, one is uh, the four pin uh, one is the free pin. Uh, we need to reuse the free pin here. So let's cut it from here. So you see this one have the red, yellow and black wire. This is the one that we need to use. And this one is also useless now. Um, you can just put it aside or try to pull it out. Uh, but I don't recommend it, yeah. So this wire is actually this wire. So they're the same. But uh, you, can, you, can, you can remove it if you want. Uh, I'll just keep it here first, yeah. So this is the one that we need to reuse. Um, so try to strip the, the wire and let me do it now first yeah uh, it takes some time so now we remove the tape 
uh, we expose the three wires here so I try to strip a little bit of them here okay so we are also going to provide this post it tab so try to insert it and lock it pull to make sure it's it's good okay on the other other side of the poster tab just do the same thing to to this wire strip it Oops, let's try it again. Okay, now we connect both sides. Insert it, lock it, pull it, pass it. Yeah. Insert it, lock it. Pull it. Yeah. If you want to make sure that you insert all the way in, you can remove the cap and do it like this. So the metal wire, uh, metal part exposed, and then put it here and lock it in. Okay. So now. They are all secured. So we need to plug this back in. So here we will use our new wire. Oh, this is the old one, sorry. This one is the new one. So it connects up two parts. Uh, here and here, uh, we connect them together, so it's okay. So this part goes into here. And we connect the buster like before, the buster here. And then now this one is the light wire. Uh, we need to control the lights from the from our control unit. So this is the trunk light connector. So there's a long side and a short side. The short side you connect here. We remove the existing one and then plug in here. Actually, you need to remove this piece to run the wire below, below it. Yeah. So let me try to remove both sides. So just a reminder, uh, there are two push clips on this side. So just try to pry this out and then it will loosen. You can remove the piece. Okay. So now plug it in here too. okay so that's basically the whole installation the last thing you need to do is to up, update our firmware uh, we'll have a link for that so let's try to do the firmware upgrade now now let's do the software update um, insert the cap first and then plug it in so it will flash rapidly wait until it becomes solid and then remove the cup. So it will flash, then it's good. So plug everything back in. And also this one, if you don't plug it in. So now let's try to test the system. So the whole thing is completed actually. So let's try to test it now. So let's, let me put it back. Okay, so now we put everything back in the place. Um, so let's try to test if it works. Uh, we close it first. And then we can test it. Okay, it should be good. So now let's test, test the touchscreen code. So yes, now we have the feature.
and then if we open the trunk and if we forgot to close the trunk and start driving so it will give me warning the trunk is open uh, it's in Chinese but it said trunk is open so that's good so this is our V2 upgrade kit uh, it's not that difficult to install everyone can install it um, thank you